Just some of the items on display in a new exhibition at the Cromwell Museum documenting the construction of the Clyde Dam. Museum director Jennifer Hay says the exhibition looks at how Cromwell was transformed as a result of the dam project. Um, a lot of people like to visit the museum and their first question is tell us about the dam, tell us about Cromwell uh, and what happened as a result of the dam, why, why is there a mall here, what is the lake about. The exhibition will include aerial photos showing how the region looked before the dam plus photos showing the construction process. Archaeological finds will also be displayed including opium vials, pottery and coins which were excavated from sites formerly occupied by Chinese gold miners. So I've traced um, the story kind of quite early back and then through to um, the power of electricity which was harnessed very early on as well in the late 1880s and that was also as a result of gold mining as well. But the construction of the dam beginning in the 1980s wasn't without controversy. The potential loss of all the orchards and the meeting of the Kawara and the Clutha River, um, which is now of course drowned. So um, <clears throat> it went on of course for many years as we all know. And despite a High Court ruling against the dam being built in Clyde, the government of the day pushed ahead anyway. That was really the beginning of um, a quite a passionate um, outcry from locals in the area because uh, I think they thought they were being scammed and I think perhaps they might have been. Film footage showing the building of the dam will also be part of the exhibition, as will a series of portraits of locals affected, taken by New Zealand documentary photographer Robin Morrison in Cromwell, the South, today.